This is Deer Country. We're out here today mapping some field boundaries, making some guidance videos and tips and tricks on how to do this a little easier. So in this situation, we're coming up to a corner, driving the gator with your display in there. When you get to the edge, you're going to pause on the screen your boundary mapping. And while it's paused, whatever you do and drive is not actually recorded. And you could go right back to the same point at the corner, or he can drive five feet up there, 20 feet up there, and hit resume, and it's gonna drag a straight line between that. So we've got a point here where he stopped recording, drove up to that point, resumed it, it's gonna snap a straight line right between those two. So that can be useful. This is a bit of a crooked edge here, but if you have a field boundary that you wanna straighten out, you could easily do that by pausing here and driving up to this point and hitting resume. You can even do that all along an edge of a field. You can just keep kind of bumping yourself along, leaving breadcrumbs, and it's gonna snap straight lines between them. Here we're in the cab. We're gonna make another interior boundary. So to proceed with that, we're lined up where we wanna be in the field. We're gonna click the pencil next to interior in the lower right corner. And then we're gonna click add an interior boundary to add another one. This is a non-passable, so we're gonna uncheck that. We can leave the name as interior, and we're working off of a front boom work point. It'll show the back on the picture, but we have it set up as a front rigid. You'll see when we're recording, it's making the point off the front left edge. So we're gonna hit start recording, and now we can start driving. Whatever the red light at the top is doing is whether you're recording or not. Non-passable interiors show up as purple. Passable interiors will show up as yellow. So we're gonna drive along this field edge. At any point, if we wanted to straighten it out, we could hit pause, drive a couple feet and hit resume. You can see at the top now it says we're paused and we're driving. And when we hit resume, it's just gonna snap a straight line right to it. We're currently driving around a sweeping corner on this tree line. We're gonna pause it and head down now on a straight edge towards a 90 degree turn. We'll be able to demonstrate what we took an exterior video of pausing to get around a corner. So this will give you a little view of what you need to do from the screen in the cab. So we drove from the edge of that sweeping corner up to a 90 degree corner. Now we're gonna hit resume. We just recorded that. We're actually just gonna hit pause right away again. Now we could have driven that and recorded it the whole way. It just depends on how the field's shaped. And we are currently driving around the corner. We could go a foot ahead of where we paused. We could go 10 feet, we could go 50 feet. It does not matter. We can go as far as we want where we wanna snap a straight line and now we're gonna hit record and we're gonna keep driving along this edge. We wanna straighten this one out too, so we paused it. And we're gonna keep driving along the edge and we're gonna hit resume part way down the tree line and kind of snap a straight line multi-segment along the edge here. It's important to keep note of what it says at the top of the screen to make sure whether you're recording or you're paused. It's pretty easy to, to miss that step so if you're curious what's gonna happen as you start driving, just make sure you look at the top of the screen there where it'll say recording or paused. So now we got to the other edge. This is another rounded corner. So we're gonna drive around it. Drive all the way. We're gonna drive all the way up to our other edge. You can see as you're making a boundary, it's always filling in the rest of the shape to your starting point. So once you get close enough, if it's a straight line and you know where you need to be, you can just hit the save button and it's gonna snap a straight line all the way, all the way to the edge. We're gonna drive this one all the way up there. Stop before the corner a little bit. If you end up driving past it, you're gonna end up with a little bit of a, a jagged edge there. So now we're gonna hit save. And that's gonna give us a new 
passable in non-passable interior shape inside that larger field. Now, to explain what we did here with this field, if you have multiple exterior shapes, the display will not allow you to make them all under one field but the op center will allow multiple exterior shapes assigned to one field and the display will also support it when you're using boundaries, but we can't drive them that way. The simplest way to add multiple exterior shapes to one field name is to stay within the field name, make one exterior shape, and then continue to add interiors. You can see the very large shape in there is all an interior boundary right now, the yellow one. Later on, on the op center, all we have to do is trigger a switch in land to change it between an interior to an exterior shape and we don't have to spend a lot of time merging fields or messing around with the data to try and get that all together so we can clean that up really quickly in the op center another way to do it is to drive multiple fields keep changing the field name and making exterior boundaries but it requires a lot more work on the op center later to merge all those fields together and then merge the shapes together under one single boundary set. So this is the quickest way to make multiple exteriors. And we're gonna drive interiors as well. So we'll have a large list of interiors here that we'll clean up later on the op center. 